happened to so many of the people who happen to be in the baseball, I would think. So you know my friends, and you know who you are. Darlings, I'm in the hideaway today with one of the biggest names in baseball. It's got 12 letters in it. I counted it myself. One of them? You are the biggest oh, name. All right. Isn't he marvelous? He's so outspoken. Like now, please welcome the principal owner of the New York Yankees. We'll find out exactly what that means. Mr. Jorge Steinbrenner. George, how are you? Hello, darling. Fernando, thank you. Thank you. George, first of all, ask me, ask me. I got to tell you, darling, from the bottom of my heart, you look impressive. You up close. I tell you, you look marvelous, darling. Thank you very much. It's fabulous, you know, and for me, I would rather look good than to feel good, and you know who you are. George, I had not been a fan of the baseball you know, for a long time, because I come from where we play soccer, you know, and chase wild dogs. But let me ask you this. I started watching a lot of the Yankee games, and I wanted to ask you one Yankee, Yankee. Whatever. Let me ask you this. Reggie does not play. Is he hurt? I keep looking. Reggie's not, not out there. And I heard Reggie, Reggie, and he's not out there. Or is he well, hurt? What's uh, the lowdown? This could be a scoop. <laughs> it would be a scoop. Uh, Reggie is with another team. He is with California. That was a bad mistake some of my people made. Who are these people? Well, they're them. not around here. They're not here anymore. Oh, because yeah. I'd say if Reggie's not here, we could go and beat them around the head. That's you know, right. Reggie's not here. That's what was this candy bar like? Did you like that? Well, uh, it was terrible. The candy bar was terrible, but Reggie was great. And not when he had to catch a fly ball. I heard that his face had a better pocket than his glove, if well, you know what I'm saying to you. Yeah, well, we didn't hire him for his glove. We hired him for his bat. Uh, did he yeah. bring his own bat? No. No, we had to buy a lot of them. Do you pay for that, too? I pay for everything. These players, I tell you, I You're don't right. know. They right. get everything. You buy their bats for them? I have to buy everything. Everything. The gloves, the socks? The gloves, the socks, <laughs> the other thing. Well, I know what you're yeah, talking about. <laughs> Because, George, yes. you are an athletic supporter yes. from way you back. You believe it. Thank you very I'll much. tell you that right now. Is he, is he marvelous? Yes. Yes. He's yes. a yes. kidder. Thank but... you very much. George, what is your definition of love? My definition of love? Mm -hmm. What the players have for me. <laughs> and I think you may be right. You may be onto something, George, yes. because they show up every day. They you know, do. And, they play. and even some days when we're not playing, they have to show up. Well, that's what I want to talk to you yes. about. Some oh. days they don't show up and they have to show up. Is that confusing for them? I, I'm not sure. For some, it might be. But for the most of them, it is not. No. Mm -hmm. No. Well, in New York, do you, do you have the, the Yankees? See, I got it that's right. right that time. That's very good. I'm no very fool. Good. You're doing better. I have American teeth and a Spanish mouth, so sometimes <laughs> I don't know which way to go. Yes, I see. I, I like see. your infield sometimes. I'll I tell see. you that. <laughs> very good. Let me ask you this. New York is very, very excited. I saw the cover of the Sports Illustrated. Patrick Ewing is going to help your ball club a lot. <laughs> this guy, seven foot, he'll be not yes. hit a ball, boom, he stopped and knocked it down. I, uh, uh, that's very good. I did my research, I'll tell yeah, you that. I know. He will, he'll help us a lot. Let me ask you this, you know, did you have a nickname when you were in high school? You know, because my nickname was Spike. A lot of people don't know Spike? that. Are you Spanky? What are you, I got to no. feel, are you Spanky? No, I wasn't, I was Alfalfa. You are yeah. yeah. And with the, you had the hair yeah. up in the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Alfalfa time. That's what it was. You mean in the hallways they go, hey, Alfalfa. That's you right. That's go, right. Go fire the principal. That's Did right. You do that? That's right. Come here to this, darling. Sure. The Yankees saw it where now? We were right the night before the All-Star game. You were in, you were in the division, the Eastern Division, which you talk. It's a tough toughest hey. division in, in the baseball, yeah. Why is that? Because there's not so many good places to eat in Cleveland? Is that right? <laughs> yeah, that, I come from Cleveland. Well, it's a, well, you didn't let me finish. It's yeah. one of the marvelous restaurant towns yeah. in the American League, <laughs> like Cleveland. I yeah. tell you, I had some ribs there that Did I, you? I'm still taking some of oh, that yeah. out of my list. Yes, yes, sir. Mar <laughs> Cleveland, you look marvelous, darling, and you know who you are. George, thank you so much for being at the house. It, it was nice being here and this show with you. Well, George, I, I think... think you want with words, darling. Yes. You are marvelous. Thank you. Did you have one suit? Yeah, one coat. One? Three pants. One coat. It must be very hard yes. putting the three pairs of pants. I'll tell you how right now. <laughs> We've been talking to Jorge Steinbrenner, the principal owner of the New York Yankees. Good luck to you, George. Thank you for being in the hideaway. Thank you, friend. My friends, we'll see you. Watch the All-Star game. And remember, it's better to look good than to feel good. Salutos, my friends. <laughs>